Hey, fam. Let's be 3D. Hey, fam, and we're back on Let's Be 3D with more stories and memories and lessons we learned in 2017 on our mission trip. Last week we did the kids camp at Merche FC, and now we're getting into our concert tour. Right, and then also we'll see if we have time today, depending on how much we talk. If we get into the Moravica camp before we get into Romania, so that's what we'll be talking about today: our concert tour and possibly the camp at Moravica. Cool. But first, roll yes. call. I'm roll Naomi. Call. If I didn't say that, you are. I think Naomi. you did. I am. So Bass, who's next? boss, lady. I'm Abby. BBL. That sounds really weird. BBL. <laughs> I don't Bass like that. Should, lady. should Nick make me a BB8? No. No. Okay, BB8. No. He's cute. We're He's adorable. On. Anyway. I, all right. FYI, I do not like being called cute. No offense to anyone who's done that before, but this is 3D. <laughs> I'll just say that. She doesn't even like her sister saying, you look cute in that. She's like no. Jed in uh, Night of the Museum. Don't, Don't call, call me cute. cute. Exactly. Okay. Abby. I'm Abby. Mm-hmm. And yes, I'm here. Yes. Glad to be here. You look lovely. Thank hey. you. And this is Jacob on the right end. Um, excited to be talking about what we got today. It's going to be a good day. It is going to be good. And good this day. Joshua here. Just glad to be here and really excited about this episode because there were some great memories, uh, not just as a family on the concert tour, but also um, me personally getting to uh, spend some personal time with some of the kids on the concert that came to the concerts or were with us on the concert tour. I mean, the Adamix, um, most of the time when we were did a concert tour, most of the time yeah. they were yeah. with us. Sometimes they weren't. It was just Darko or whatever. But um, this particular tour, it was the whole family, and it was just a lot of fun. So, um, so starting off with the concert tour, we did... Um, Bocchi Petrovats first, which is probably, I would say, my favorite place I to play at that we did every single year, if yeah, that makes sense. For I mean, sure. It was definitely just um, always fun. Like we, we mentioned, our translator, Miroslav, mm-hmm. um, was just always so much fun to, you know, banter with him during the concert and, you know, just go back and forth we always had jacob and i always had a silly picture that we did with him we 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 did it the first year with 2014 when we played at boschke petrovats and it just became a tradition we made it a thing yeah yeah i think we have one from every year yes we do we do and we knew uh, quite a few of the youth there yeah so like a good few of them had been to our camp or they had been at the cons- most of the concerts we had done at Bashki Petrovac. Right. So it was really cool to get to fellowship with them after after the concert and stuff. They would always have a meal and we'd um, you know, eat together, fellowship together. It was a lot of fun. Exactly. It was definitely yeah. a lot of fun. So then next we went back to Erdovik and um again the people there are always great and um very welcoming and we had um, another one of my favorite translators. Uh, he only, tra- I think his name's Andre. I yeah. don't, he only translated, if I remember right, the first time we were at Air to Yes. And then the last time. Mm-hmm. So, but he was always so much fun to be around and just, you know, he was a young man. He was, um, if I remember right, he told me that he was one of those that worked out in the fields. They had like, you know, companies that did all the farming and different stuff outside of town, you yeah. know, because as you come into these towns, these towns are surrounded by cornfields about, you know, yay high. And it just... How um, high is yay high for those who can't yeah, see your I was hand? About yeah, I they can't <laughs> see you. It was about you. this high, you know. Can you see... No. Anyway... Um, Six so foot that high, was always fun, higher. you know. Yeah, some of the cornfields were. You know. I did not know that. He How is about that? Andre, awesome. the translator. At where? At Air to Be. We were Air-to-be. just Air-to-be. talking. I'm sorry. Talking, yeah, I hey. got. I started 
thinking reminiscing. about reminiscing. Yes, I started yeah. reminiscing. So I she's watching me take notes, zoned so out. Like, yes, I was watching her, <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. So, yeah, oh. I, you lost me. Yeah. Cornfields, cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 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 Um. So next anyway. was um, Padina. It was our second Again. time yep. there, and um, just <laughs> really it. cool. This was um. So at Bachi Petrovats in Erdovik, I believe we stayed in Novi Sad. I think. Uh, no. What? What no. did we, we stayed do? in Bachi Petrovats? We s- no. No, that we was the drove last year. from. Oh, I was twenty. We drove from Camp. I think to Bachi Petrovats. Yes. Played there, then went to Erdovik and spent two so nights we did, there. So we did. We okay. spent two I nights in Erdovik. Right. Right. Yes, That's because right. we spent we spent the night like, with, with that older couple. Yes. The uh, it's a different older couple Let's than last time. Yes. The and it was nice bed. Same level nice. of yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. We each no had our own bed. Couch. No sharing couches oh, was or anything. This the same couple. No, it was a different couple. Oh, it was a different couple. Very same level of English, which is. They all, no, they always. <laughs> oh, Jacob that was so to much those fun. Because well, Jacob could it was at least fun, have though. communicate with them. Yeah, of course. You want to talk it's, about it's total adventure. immersion, right? Huh. That's and they just, you know, it's so funny. Every time we'd, you know, either come back from doing whatever, because some, I mean, either playing the concert or coming down for breakfast or just coming back from whatever, um, they would always have food out or just like. <laughs> Thank you, but oh, this, yes, you know, or drinks or whatever, you homemade know. jams and jellies. Yes. I remember y'all oh, telling this. Yes. So and yes. bread and butter. Indeed. Well, and all they kinds would of cool feed stuff. us often too. I mean, like yes. we'd come well, home and we'd like we were ready oh, to go to bed, and it's like, oh, snacks. I'm like, thanks. Okay, <laughs> thanks. All right, after uh, yes, Padina. So, well, I was going to continue with Padina. There's some. Uh, he um, that was also. Uh, we all were in different housing and different yes. stuff. And I think it was this time, Dad, Mom, and Justice. Yes. yes we're that with, were th- with the pastor or no, an elder Abby or something and I like that. The pastor. But okay. They were with a deacon or elder. Yes. All of that us did stayed not know at English. different elders. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and they didn't know English. So uh, Mom had to use the, you know, the iPhone Translator came out with this great app. app. Yes called Google Translator. Well, so iPhone didn't come out with that. Google, Google did. Came out Google did. It. Whatever. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, but they they used that a lot and it the guy was the just guy so fascinated. The guy loved it. He thought it was so cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I was this was the first and only time that um that I was with uh somebody sl- uh, staying with somebody other than my family, so I was yeah. with Damian. I remember at that Mick, oh, yeah. at Potty Nut. That was fun. Oh that was so yes, much fun. at Potty Nut. I had. Yeah. I was with Justice no, or John, John Mark. Mark. John Mark. Justice mm-hmm. was with right. Mom right. Got- I keep right. Right. That's right. And we stayed at the house of one of the elder deacons. I'm not. I don't remember how the church yeah. structure was. Yeah. But a really cool story about him. So we spent the night, and the next day, um, because we spent two nights there. Even yes. though the next concert was in a, a small village outside of Padina, yes, we spent two nights there. Anyway, during the day, he took us out to his uh, fields, his sunflower fields, right? Oh, really? And we got to pick sunflower seeds like right off the flower. That's so cool. Yeah, that it was really so cool. cool. He gave yeah. us a ride in his tractor, which was. A nice. fun experience. Yeah, nice. that's awesome, man. Anyway, and you mentioned the town that the little town that we played in after Padina was Kovacitsa. Mm-hmm. And this was probably, you know, we've always played at interesting places sometimes, but this was definitely up there in the top five. Is we were near where the church was, but we were in like this, like, I don't know, rectangle, like. It was like an yard, enclosed kind yard, of thing. yeah, kind of something thing. like that. Yeah. And so we were outside. We had like set up the sound, all that kind of stuff. So we were basically playing for the town, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty close, yeah. Church, yeah. So, but that was that was definitely a fun experience, and that was also um, a lot more Slovakian, if I remember right. Uh, yes, because I think the church so. in Podino was Slovakian as well. Yeah. I, I think so. Something I like remember. that. I don't remember. Anyway, but fun times there. And then after that, 
we went to Negotine yes. for the first, first time. Which is on the far eastern end of Serbia. Yes. Near the Romanian border. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a really cool place. We played uh, similar to Pogorica in 2016. It was outside under a um, gazebo. gazebo-like thing in the center of town. It was cool. Mm-hmm. It was Definitely. a lot of fun. Yeah. We played three hours. I don't two know. And a half? I th- more like two. It was and a half, one of maybe. our longer ones. Yeah, I think what happened was we were only gonna play like an hour and a half, but then people started showing up and yeah. say, "Play this song and whatever." And you're like, "Sure." <sighs> we gathered a crowd. There was a good crowd, crowd of steaming. No, oh, yeah, there was a good crowd. No, it was fun. Was it fine, was good. Guys. It was good. He yeah. survived. Obviously. Yeah, we went and got ice cream afterwards. I remember. Yes, you, that yes. was normal. You Success. really. You really yes. learned flexibility. After concert treat, I could I could live with that every, after every concert. <laughs> right. Right. Well, you like us like I was gonna say, you really learned flexibility in Serbia because again, stuff like that happens all the time. And, you know, we've had to sometimes, you know, just ask for okay. What are we, you know, give us a doing? little bit of a tighter schedule, but we're always, you know, I mean, we were always willing to be flexible, but sometimes it was like, okay, can you give us a little bit of heads up, you know, sometimes, you know, <laughs> right? Exactly. but it was, it was great though. And, uh, so then the last concert was probably my, uh, favorite of that year because, um, that was, um, just a great it was in niche Mm. at at that like art center or whatever Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. outside in front of it and we had a lot i mean we had like 10 12 like campers and leaders that were yeah uh, isindori were there with their family yeah adamex tiana yakov nadja nadja was there kyle israel kyle yeah kyle and kyle even showed up yeah and then Um, i think um uh um uh, what ah uh, shoot uh, i forgot his name um started with a p oh, oh pavle pavle thank pavle you and, and his yes. friend sister. alexa and his well, sister Nevena. Nevena. Yeah, yeah 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 yes anyway it was a so good th- that was definitely a lot group, of fun yeah. and we went you know abby mentioned the ice cream we went out for pizza and ice cream and just hung of out course. i mean that's was that the was that, that the year was the we year we got photobombed by these crazy <gasps> yes yes that was hilarious that was really funny okay so we it's traditional for anyone who's met us. We like taking selfies and we've become experts because of camp of fitting like 50 people in one. Hey, selfie. we did it. We can do it. Especially now that iPhone has the extension on the selfie camera that helps. Oh a lot. yeah. But we were taking a selfie outside the pizza shop. Yeah. Before or after we ate. I don't remember which. And there was a lot of us, you know, cause William and Tabitha, I think were there too. Yes. It was just, you know, a lot of people and we were people. taking it outside the pizza place and these like four or five guys just like ran into the picture like photobombed it it was funny that was fun and that was also the night that um the uh serbian guy walked up to me and jacob yeah yeah that was (laughs) when we were so the story goes we we had finished up with the ice cream pizza all that and we were headed back to the cars everybody was gonna leave and everything and there was like a group of these i want to say there was like four or five this is a different group than the one that you that photo mentioned bombed that us, photo yeah. bombed us you know these were guys that were high um and just mm, slightly having out <laughs> having a good time all that kind of stuff yeah. oh, anyway yeah. and one of them walked up to me and jacob and was just like um like man, I love Americans. I love them, you know, and just going on. And we're just sitting there going, okay, okay. okay. And then, the and, then it, and then he raps. Then he starts, hey, let me sing. Let me give you a rap song or whatever. And he starts yeah. praying. And we're just like, okay. The funniest wow, was right. Funny. Like as he was walking away, Issy whispered, "She's like, he's drunk." And mom's like, "Do you want me to paint you a picture, Issy?" I knew that. It was just really <laughs> funny because. It was an interesting experience. Yes. Fun times. Like we know when someone is <laughs> high. Anyway, um, so great stuff. That was our concert tour. Lots of fun. So that was everything. the whole thing. Any, That's cool. the whole thing. Any, you know, things that I missed in Well, we have some memories tour, we wanted to share. Naomi, why don't you? She was taking notes over here, people. I meant to have a pencil. 
That way, the people who are watching this don't see me on my phone. Like, what is she doing on her phone? She's texting someone seriously? No, I was taking notes because I forgot to grab a pen. But anyway. We know what you were doing. Thank you. Okay, so. Did we? I did. I was (laughs) taking the other phone. She's the one that matters. No, just kidding. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. God is the one who matters, family. Obviously. (laughs) Abby. Lord. Okay. Um. I have a question first. What's that? What's your question? Was this the year where we lost electricity in Bachki Petrovac after our concert and we ate in the dark? Um, Not complete dark, but... No, that... Well, I t- yes. It was I either think it might have been Actually, that yeah, year. It was. Yes, it was. It was either 2016 or 2017, but I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah, Because yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a lot of fun because there was there had been an issue, if I remember right, before like while we were warming up and stuff the lights were flickering and everything because um i don't know if we've explained but bachki petrovac the baptist church is one of seven no i think it's five five or seven it's a handful it was seven it was you know five or seven churches that a team from america came and built well because they're no offense because they're american they are huge for serbia Yes. They're about average for the states. They're actually pretty good sized pretty, even for here. Yeah. yeah. They were yeah. pretty good sized churches, massive for an evangelical but fancy church. fancy too. I mean, the lights yeah. and yeah. everything. There for was like an overabundance Serbia. of light yeah. fixtures. Yeah. And you know how we have those in our churches, some of our churches over here. Anyway, And sorry. Batsky Petrovac is the only one still open because it's impossible for them to keep the electricity bill and the water bill. So with they they limited a few stuff on the church, but as far as we know, they've ba- limited the, the use ones. of lights. Exactly. Yeah. So there was some concern that we wouldn't be able to do the concert because there was some electrical issues and it went there was fine. a storm. That year there it was storming, it was, wasn't it? It was a really bad storm. I mean I love storms. I think it was storming twenty eighteen too. It might have been, a lot of but rain. the storm is what caused the electricity to go yes. up. Yeah. So, but we were able to have the concert. It's just after the lights went out, and so we ate pizza by, by not. Candlelight. It was candlelight, but it was like the little battery operated. It was cool. Well, it's it a great enough. lesson in sometimes um, overwork and you know their motive, their intention was good. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Uh, build these churches in Serbia, but you know, in um. Go ahead. Go ahead and keep. Okay. It's okay. I'll take care of it in a minute. Okay. Sorry. We Sorry, have, we just we saw a sign. Saw a notification so screen on the pointed at us, like, and we just what? saw. What does this mean? Will it mess it up? Yeah. Anyway, keep yeah. checking it now. But just, I think. We're good. We live in such cool. such a luxury society and such a, I don't I don't know how else to say it that you know we want the big house. Yeah. We may not use all the space in it, but yeah. it looks cool. Right. It's um Well, the the Jacob help me out here. I'm the, stuttering. The so mentality bad. that we see here is the kids want what the parents have right when they get out of college instead right. of you know, working for it, saving up for it, and eventually getting there. But things... I meant like the over... We feel like we need all this space, but we really don't. We feel like we need to have the big screen television when half the size will work just well, you know, like... Or the big house. Or the big house when now you have to clean it and maintain it and pay for it and pay mortgage on it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So we're sure the... It's just a good lesson in what's... You know, simple simplicity. Well, and understanding and the ability of those people over there to keep it up when right. you've gone. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure the intent, I mean, we're not trying good. to bash anyone. The, no, no, the no, intention no. was just, pure and good I'm trying to, point to out give the these lesson. people a quality. Here. Yeah. I'm doing it very badly. <laughs> <laughs> but the quality, giving them a quality worship space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I understand that. That's great. Yeah. But you're. The tendency to think American wise of okay, yeah, we, we can, can keep the lights better. on in, we can in this place, but over more. there they can't. Yeah, not necessarily because the bill is larger or smaller, but just the earning power yeah. of the average working man 
over yeah. there is yeah. significantly lower than say over here. Yeah. yeah. It's quite it was just a quite an interesting lesson that we learned when we first went to Bashi yeah. 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 So anyway, hopefully anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. Right. Yeah. Anyway, it was just Sorry. really cool. And another no, cool no, thing no. was we've been talking about like the longer uh as the years went by um, more and more campers became aware of where we were performing concerts and stuff. And so they would bring their friends or family or buddy up to ride the bus to come watch us or something like that. Um, so at Bautsky Petrovats, we had a pretty good group of campers that came to watch us. And two of them that we were not expecting, because they're all the way from Novi side, was Saleh and his brother Kiki. And they were camper first time campers at teen camp yeah yes 2017 yes. 2017 yeah. they were first, so that was the first um time. well they had just connected really well with mom again like we've mentioned before her just being a mom and a presence a ray of sunshine to those kids so it was really cool uh she started crying when she saw them it was really sweet Aww. they got a selfie and everything so it was just really cool to be able to continue those relationships and just a sweet moment yeah uh at that church and then next i'm just reading off my notes <laughs> um in erdevik this is probably the most fun we had staying oh, in erdevik for sure was abby for and sure. i were staying with the slavic family which mom and dad and joe mark and justice had stayed with 2015 i think yeah something like that yeah. um and this uh he's in like deacon elder yes and i don't yes. remember what's his first name because there's a lot of Slavics and Slavic, or is this no, a different no. Slavic? I, isn't no. it Darko? It's, is it's it not Darko? Emil. It's not Emil. It's, it's not it's Emil. Different Slavic. It's different the uh, Slavic. There's it a lot of Slavics. Isn't it Darko? It might be. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember, remember. this anyway, mother anyway, and the father's name. I, I just remember. remember the we just remember the daughters. sisters. Anyway, but in this house, it's I. Is it her? There's like three generations in the yeah. house because it's the elder and his wife, and then one of their moms, and then four daughters. Right. So it was mostly girls, which is a lot of fun. And we were good friends with all of them. So Daria, Esterka. Oh, 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 the oh. The oldest daughter that actually Slavic wasn't family. at home. Um, no. The I was oldest, like, I only remember sorry, three. We met the fourth one I want to say later. you're right, Josh, about his first name. I think oh, she yeah, something lived. Like that. I think she was married. She was married. And anyway, we met her later. But so yeah. there was only three daughters at home. Daria, yes. Esterka, and Tabita. And Esterka is married now. Yes. She is in she Canada. Is. She's in oh, what? really? Living? I thought they were on vacation. Mm -mm. She is living wow. in Canada. Wow, anyway, that is so cool. That's really cool, actually. And then Daria graduated Dennis. She's right. In Dennis yeah, she was Street. doing a yes. hygienist or something like that. Something like, yes. something like that. Anyway, anyway, it was a fun family. Um, And we just hung out with them, and it was a lot of fun. And then the evening of the, after the concert, well, first off, we came in in the middle of the night and woke up. We scared Esterka half to death. Well, was it? Yes, what, who was that. the other girl there that was like a cousin? Oh, Martina. Martina. She was a translator in 2015. And 2014. Yes, 14. At 14? 14? 14? Mm -hmm. We hadn't seen her in like three years. She's one of their cousins. Yes. Yes. So it was so good she to was see there. her again. So yes. she stayed up for us to get us settled into, because it was late. Yeah. And we woke up. One Asterica. of them, or Daria. I think it was they were Asterica, in bunk beds, yes. and we woke one of them up, and she was like scared. It was so funny. Anyway, um, so we had a great time, and then oh, that night fun. after the uh, concert, we so stayed up. we were hot, so we were not wearing shoes, yeah, and the grandmother course. did not like that. So that was another they promo brought us They're like slippers, handing us to slippers. Put on. So what I did was I wore them, but then once I sat at the table, I slipped them off. Right. Right. Because I needed the truth the cold. comes out now. I needed the, they didn't see or care because I was yeah. sitting down. But if we were walking around, well, they would. I be. also remember our translator who Andre Andre, Andre came Andre over came over and he they he had grown up with the sisters and he was teasing Daria. Like it was so saying funny. she was such a mean person growing up. It was really funny. Yeah. Wow. We had an anyway. awesome time. And that night. And was up. a nice one. It was just, it was so funny. And we, he was just cool to talk to because he was 
interested in like american stuff right. and yeah. just having conversations well, they, and the daughters all knew english really well yeah yeah and he knew english really well and i just remember staying up playing games we just played games talked ate ate food. whatever <laughs> you know whatever it was, was it was just that was a lot of fun it was fun and then um anything Adina, else no i'm kidding <laughs> abby and i we have a list here come on um abby and i stayed with pastor who if you remember and diana yeah diana was with us too and he was the one that we talked about in 2014, 15, 15, 15 that really connected with mama saw the spirit in him and that cool connection. Right. And so it was really cool to stay at his house. He was so sweet and his wife, they are the, just the sweetest people was sick. Yes. Again. I don't know what I got was it was, I think it was some kind of stomach bug Yeah. because I wasn't feeling, feeling well. well. And I remember a sweet memory, um, was uh diana took off my makeup for me like yes. i was just like she so done. did our I'm makeup like, too actually i was so Remember? tired yes and it was that was a special time with her we don't keep up with her as much anymore right. but that that was a lot of the fun. concert tour we we spent a good bit of time with yeah. her because and so, she's it was it was, was around our age yeah and she would just be paired with us a lot so we could have someone to translate because again the pastor did not know yeah no we but need, that was we just really cool because she's into photography and art and she asked she was like can i please do your makeup because we had all day we weren't doing anything yeah we had spent the night and then we were going to perform that night and spend the night so we hadn't really done anything so we had all this time and she's like can i please do your makeup and we're like yeah sure she did an amazing like, job saves us the time you it can was do a it. lot of fun it was so, fun. fun times and then um just quickly, Nagatine, new place. I love, again, travel. I love it. And it was just really cool to be in another city. Not as big as Novi Sad, but still the vibe is like, I was in heaven. It was so cool to be there it was at a really night cool place. with the city lights and the people out and the music. And it was just exhilarating. Yeah. And we had a lot of fun meeting yes. Alidia, the oldest daughter well, actually, the only daughter because she has two brothers. Anyway, Lydia had been camper the first 2014. or second. second 2014. 2014. So and we her knew mom her. Was, her mom was, was a, volunteer. a volunteer. And so it was cool to meet her dad and her brothers. Brother. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was fun. <laughs> anyway, so it was cool hanging out with them. And we got to do that again the next year, which we'll get into. So meeting another missionary family another camper who we yes. hadn't seen in a few years. And I just remember that was a fun night. It was much of a community concert. And yes. so that sure. was, I don't know, it was just really cool to be in the community, in the city center. Those concerts were some of my favorites. Those were my I favorite. mean, the churches were fun and awesome. Yeah. But to just see people like drawn and listening yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Was that the uh, one where the lady American from Russia and, yeah. came up to us? Or was that same place, but next year? I think it might what, have been remember. the next year. What, what she was, was from Russia. Yeah. What, did she have Didn't, black hair? No, she was. Well, she might have. It was dark. I I look at it, people it, and it study looked more their like, features. It looked apparently. more like blondish. Okay, was then she, no. Was she? I don't remember. Are you that. talking about the one she that came was up our to us guide and spoke in, to us in oh. Russian? And was just like, remember. oh, okay, then I have no idea. Voluminous in her love for us. Yeah, it was more it Russian than Serbian. It may have been that year because I don't remember that the last okay. year. She came yeah. up to mom and I. Oh, that's I really remember. That's why I don't yeah. remember it, huh? Anyway, I but don't like, remember if it was that year. Anyway, <laughs> but like random Abby memory. <laughs> said, <laughs> um, the churches was really cool because it was a worship experience. It yeah. just fellowship with the believers. But our heart was always full to overflowing to do the community Reach concerts the community. because that was so rare. Not a lot yes. of people did that ministry minded. I mean, they had concerts and stuff, but it yeah. was whatever traditional music or it was very not, it wasn't always ministry focused. So yeah. for us to be able to do that and then just like gospel music, the experience, hey. it yes. was really cool. And that's why I think Silver Dollar City and Dollywood and stuff like that is so special to me is because it reminds me of, 
And I'll say it. I'm like, I get Serbia vibes. You know, it just yeah. reminds yeah. me of that exhilarating of people are listening, they're loving it, and we're reaching them with the message and our music and yes. stuff. And that was the same experience with Niche. Again, community concert. You had, you know, friends and fam there, and then also Niche new people. It was really fun. It was a lot of fun because we were, again, didn't have a lot going on during the day. So we just hung out with the Adamix and Tiana. And then right before the concert, you know, you start seeing people show up. And then after the concert, we just stay yeah. up late. And Was that one of the everybody. years we went with uh, this Joshua and I went with Damien and Nemanja to play basketball? Yes, we yes. rode the bikes. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. yes. Oh, I totally oh, forgot. Yes. It just hit me. Y'all. I we forgot are about not this. bike riders. We don't ride no. bikes. We've ne- we've, we, well, the four like, of us. John Mark and Jeff. I can ride Jake, a bike. Jacob I mean, it's, and John Mark. it's one of those things that yeah. I personally just because of my growing up years not you know we moved four times in the time yeah. by the time yeah, i was yeah, six yeah. years old and we lived in a lot of suburbia <laughs> areas before we moved to Hempstead, had more country and not really a place to ride bikes exactly well, i grew up riding a bike you know learning how to ride yeah. so the skill comes back to me every once right. in a while <laughs> but we don't normally ride bikes right so damien had i don't remember whose bike i was borrowing darko's maybe he he had, they had like a they, whole bunch of they bikes. had a whole bunch of bikes. Well, anyway. everyone rides bikes. Over so there. we're we're getting ready to leave, <laughs> and was it Damien and I that collided, or you and I that collided, and I tore up my right hand? I think it was you and I. I don't remember. It's been it's been so long. But the thing is, so Jacob that talking about being a you know used to bike riding. So once he got the hang of it, he was okay. Me, <laughs> yeah, I'm not very skilled at bike riding. I mean, I've done it. I did and a little bit of it when we you. were at it back Probably. in Hempstead. Um, but, but I hadn't ridden a bike in like two or three years. Well, in Hempstead, we, we were connected to the main road. So really, right. if you want to ride a bike, you just ride up the driveway and back. And down. then back. It's yes, like exactly. nothing interesting. And back when it. And back when, for the first. Five, seven years of us living there, our uh, driveway was not paved. <laughs> it was gravel. Right. It was gravel. You don't ride you don't bikes ride, on a gravel yeah. road <laughs> unless you're really skilled. And we uh, weren't going to learn really, how yeah, to ride bikes. You can't bikes learn a, to ride a bike on, on a that. gravel road. Or if you're Serbian. And that's uh, part of the thing was this was my... So we took we, we were riding the bikes from the Adamix house to about where the CEF headquarters and niche were right because they had a basketball field and soccer field there close yeah yeah. anyway so this was my first time not only riding a bike in like two or three years or something like that but also on dirt i we had never i remember that we'd always been (laughs) used to paved or even a little bit of i think we might have done gravel before i don't remember anyway but actual dirt that was at first so literally about i'd say it was probably a mile ish in i mean my legs were hurting i mean was that the year that we came back over the mountain across the bridge was that that year yes yeah something like that anyway so we we got to the place we uh, and this was also the first time riding where there were cars you know, yes. like, like driving so and everything. So that, that was a little scary for there me. There are severe but, consequences. But the, <laughs> the uh, memory Slightly. I have of that is later when we were driving back, Damien was taking us through like where he loves to go bike riding and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And so he brought us to this hill and, you know, he yeah. was telling us how they they would fly oh, down yeah. that hill and all that kind of stuff. So... Anyway, he goes down, makes it fine. Jacob goes down, makes it fine. I go down, and about three quarters of the way, you stick I your missed, feet out. Yeah, I got a little too fast, so I caught like got my feet out or whatever kind of stuff, and I literally crashed. How did you oh think that would word. help you? And I, don't I was know. like, <laughs> sticking your feet out is and gonna Dami, help both you. Both Dominic and Jacob were like, yeah. Anyway, both <laughs> Dominic and Jacob were like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "I'm fine." Just give me a minute. We have I'll a be up the hill. Tonight. Anyway, we'll be so yeah. And, yeah. and did we? I'm trying to remember if we did that before the concert. Because um, we we did the concert that night. Yes. I, I don't remember. I think that was the day. A before. day that we were not doing anything. So I, I, I can't remember if it was a day. Yeah. Yeah. But still, that was a day I, that we legs, weren't doing anything. 
We didn't do anything right. the day of a concert as far as... When I say we didn't do anything, we didn't do Dangerous. anything strenuous. We learned like, that after. Like playing soccer or playing basketball. Yeah. Yeah, we I mean, learned. we might have gone and looked at, like, gone shopping or gone yeah. and looked at sites or yeah. or go eat somewhere. Yeah. 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 For breakfast or whatever. But nothing strange. But normally Darko made us breakfast. He'd yeah. scramble eggs. Yeah. And we coffee stayed and stuff. when we would stay in each, we would stay at the Adamix like house. Yes. And that was a lot of at fun. A great house. Um that was the year we were <laughs> Is that we Three Pigs and a Baby? Was no. that that year? Oh, was that the year? Oh, <laughs> yes. That was so them. funny. Okay, they only had a certain amount of <laughs> movies. Yes. This, these are just fun memories. We, they only had a certain amount of movies available to watch on their TV. Oh, and um, there was always this... I think we saw it in 2016. We we're like, we are not watching that. It sounds dumb. Um, but Damien was like, three pigs and a baby. And he would skip the uh. Yeah, so, three pigs and baby. Three pigs, three pigs and, and baby. baby. We need to watch that. And then we watched The Life, so, Life of um, Pi. He kept he saying He called it The Life, Life of, of P, P but it's like, Life what? of Pi. <laughs> it's P-I. Pi, pi yeah. as yes, in like yeah. 3.14. So he kept saying anyway. that, and so we are like, okay, we'll watch it. And it was as dumb That's as That's one of the it dumbest was, movies, movies I've ever seen. But I'm sorry. But it was funny. So, it just it made us laugh. Three Pigs and Baby. Yeah. But uh, there was We also got real acquainted with We. Yes. Mario Kart. That was a lot of fun. Um, getting beat by a nine-year-old. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Debbie was incredibly Deborah talented Adam at it. Oh, Lord. And really forget Damien, he'd always win. So. Of course. Damien could actually make it through the Rainbow, Bri- Rainbow Bridge track without on Mario Kart fall- without, without falling, falling off. off. That was wow. incredible. Was, Ooh, it, start yeah. again. Okay. Oh. I never played. I just could not. I actually play. started counting on a cup played? like on John played. Marker Justice. Yeah. Yeah. I played. Oh, I'm so, so video fun. gamer. It was fun to watch y'all lose. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi. We were extremely happy when we ended up in anything but 12th place. Yes. Well, I also loved helping Lydia in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. That was fun, well, too. She is, she is Lydia else. is a fantastic cook. Yes. yes. And she yeah. would always ask us what our favorite meals are, yes. so she would make them. We make we stuffed would, peppers and dark yeah. grilled favorite. fish. And, grilled and we're talking fish. about fresh from the river Humphreys, fish. Is that how they call it? Yeah. Humphreys? French fries. Mm. Grilled so in big lard. For... Uh, she would um, make us dessert too sometimes. Cake, and they would buy us oh, ice cream. <laughs> oh. They knew all our favorite foods. Oh, they knew yeah. all our favorite foods. <laughs> yeah. It was They fun. treated us. The cool thing about their desserts, you know, a lot of y'all know that we are on keto. But uh, sweetness wise, their desserts are not as sweet as our desserts. No, they're right. not. No. They just have slightly less sugar. So we've gotten, now that. We've done a lot of keto stuff and we use keto sweeteners, yes, but I still do not sweeten it as much as some people do because no. our taste buds kind of got used to like, yeah. we don't need like Tons sugar of overload sugar. Yeah. of sweetness. So it's yeah. kind of cool. Um, the really cool thing you mentioning their ice cream, the cool thing about going to the different shops in Niche, Negotine, Chak Chak, been to one in Novi Sad, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, and several other places, Belgrade, and, Yeah, I don't almost think. everywhere. We almost went. everywhere we went, we stopped yeah. at an ice cream place. But the cool thing about them is they're all slightly different. Yeah, because they yes. all make their own ice cream recipes in house. Oh, their ice cream and was the best. People. Right, awesome. that's why I think if you've we ever love had, Abby's so much is because they use cream over there, not milk. Yeah, I was gonna say if you've ever had Italian gelato, yes, it's that's probably similar. the it's closest very similar. thing. Yeah, because yeah. they use cream, not milk. Cream like with ice, you know, to help. Anyway, yeah. so when Abby makes her ice cream with cream and cream cheese, it's yeah. very reminiscent of it. Yes, it's very well, similar. It's it. almost like, um, it's almost like Bluebell, except it's cream and not right. as. Well, it's Bluebell stronger, adds, but it's not as sweet. If that makes yeah. sense, it's, it's got richer. A, it's a richer it's flavor. Because yeah. yeah. to me, gelato is much more like yogurt. Ish, kind of true. True. I mean, it's yeah, it's a little bit like a custard. Server. May be the right word. If ever, anybody's ever yeah, been to Freddy's, there you go. Their frozen, frozen custard, custard is very yeah. close. Or Andy's for those. In yeah. Or Andy's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, anyway, I don't know Andy. how we managed to stretch this into a forty-minute <laughs> episode, but uh, yeah, we, we have going, had fun. 
we have. So. And we'll continue with it next week. Uh, more memories. We'll be doing our Moravitsa, talking about yes. our Moravitsa camp next week. Um, and yes, we, we love reminiscing and we hope y'all are enjoying listening to just some memories. And um, I think the important thing that we hope you can take away from this is that, you know, wherever God has put you, um, some of our memories come from the simplest settings Mm. and the simplest acts and the simplest, you know, doings and deeds. And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be big and flashy, you know, like the church we talked about in Bachki Petrovats. Um, if it's where God wants you, if it's what he's leading you to do, he will bless it. And um, you'll find the blessing is in the making of and the doing of what you're doing. Um, and so I just encourage you to look around. You see what God is um, calling you to do. Um, we've gotten so much in the mundane and the get on your phone, check Facebook, get jealous of everybody else's life because (laughs) everybody else's life is picture perfect, but it's not. And so if we can get off our screens and take time to enjoy the people around us and to enjoy the presence of God and learn more about him, um, I believe we will lay down at night ever so much more satisfied and content and, uh, in peace, and he calls us to walk in peace. So, encouragement and challenge for you. And we hope you have a blessed week. We hope you enjoyed this podcast. And if you did, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Yes. Um, and if you're wa- listening in, watching, listening in on YouTube, um, please do subscribe over there because we have cover videos that come out. Yes. Every week. yes. We have a lot of fun with those. We'd also love to connect with you on social media. We're on TikTok. Yes, that's a new thing. It's a lot of fun. Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, and Twitter, wherever yes. you like to socialize, we are over there and we'd love to connect with you and get to know you. Just text us, message us, um, tell us about yourself. We'd love to hear from you. And well, you'll hear from us in the next episode. And as always, peace, love, fam. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect the opinions or standard of the family sound. Have a lovely day.